I, um, I was at the Tonys two years ago and um, I w when I was nominated for the first time. And I got to be there with Philip Seymour Hoffman because we had done Death of a Salesman together. We had played father and son in that play. So I was able to sit across the aisle from a hero of mine and, and a man that became a friend and a mentor and someone that I love very, very dearly and still love and still remember always, of course, constantly. Um, I think sharing that moment with him and Mike Nichols and watching Mike Nichols go and receive the award for Best Revival, um, it was uh, a profound moment that I will never forget. I think Broadway really is such a community and I think that's what's special about this award show is that it really is about artists and artisans who are who work together in a communal way to create art together and it just and that's true of film and television but Broadway is such a community because it's got that New York heart to it so I just love being here and, and being a member of that very special community. Being here with uh, the the cast and um, you know enjoying you know we we the most nominated play in Tony history that that's that's uh, an accomplishment something we're proud of and and just try to enjoy the night and and uh, seeing everybody else you know who's working on Broadway. The most memorable was. Uh, I, uh, the first time I, I hosted, I co-hosted with Glenn Close and Gregory Hines, and I, I loved Gregory Hines. Um, you know, gone far too soon. One of the, the maybe the most talented man I ever met. Who, we did a number together, a medley of, of uh, women's songs, and um, and he was, you know, just to sing and dance with Gregory Hines. That, without a doubt, is my my favorite moment ever on, on from the Tonys. I, I'm just excited for our show, for the band's visit to do well, because I want a lot of people to see it, more people to see it. I, I hope that when it does tour, you know, then having a, a few Tony feathers in our cap will bring more people in. And I hope that, you know, I want it to have a long life and that's something that the Tonys can give you. I'm just here to celebrate a crazy night and as you know like celebrate the small show that celebrates peaceful coexistence between Middle Eastern people that's what I'm excited for and to have it sort of on this stage get this kind of visibility that's what I'm excited for that's why I'm here My favorite Tony Awards moment is in the Heights, 96,000. I remember watching that in high school, and, and I think Chris Jackson is somewhere here. That's Chris Jackson, and I love him, and, and he's become a mentor and role model of mine. So to be here next to him, after having sort of fallen in love with the theater through his performance, and that, and that, that that's why, that's exciting. That's my favorite. Uh, 
We have 12 nominations and the, the, the cast of this show is remarkable. Tina did a brilliant job, Casey. There's just so many people who work so hard and are so deserving in a field of almost all deserving people. So whatever happens, I'll be all right. Uh, but they can dance. Uh, I'd like to see them get up on the stage. I don't even know. I mean, I don't even know what to expect, really. You know, um, we're too excited about like if they, if we win, we don't really know what to do. There's so many, you know, cool artists attached to this giant soundtrack. I think my feeling was that I was just going to run as fast as I could to get up there and be the first one to, to grab it or whatever. But no, I don't. I don't know. It, you know, it's it's the sort of things that you. You don't really consider it, and then you're here, you're like, oh my God, this is a big deal. It's a really big deal, yeah. You know, the winning is, it's not really up to us. You know, it's up to popularity and all these things that you can't Woo! really, all right. Woo! Hey, you made it. Yeah. You look, you look great. You look good too. Oh, you look fantastic. Oh. Well, absolutely, I mean, my favorite uh, moment, you mean, it, it, to me, is probably like when SpongeBob SquarePants himself shows up and, and I, I, I really have no idea what to expect. I mean, I think this is already a great moment for me right here. So <laughs> I've, I have no other big expectations. <laughs> when my mother won and I was in the audience, <laughs> my mother brought me, I was, um, she won for Best Actress, Best, lead, best Actress in a Lead Role uh, in 2004. And I was, uh, I, I had just, I think I was either about to graduate or, ju or just graduated from high school and I wore my bright bubblegum pink uh, prom dress. Well, I don't know. This one is pretty incredible because I'm guaranteed one. So no matter what happens tonight, I'm walking away with an award. So you can't beat that. So because we, we were told that we were going to perform at the Tonys and I thought, oh my goodness, I have to see what that looks like. So I started Googling um, classic Tony performances. So I was watching um, Dreamgirls from, with Jennifer Holliday from, I don't know when, 1980 or something like that. And then, and then Patti LuPone doing Evita with Mandy Patinkin. And so I, I, I was watching some classic Tony performances. Trying to get in the mood. I feel like it's a cliche moment, but I was watching the Neil Patrick Harris opening like a few years ago with a whole bunch of my friends who want to be actors, and you know, we, we didn't know whether we were going to be able to make it. And I think, you know, I was in college at the time and it was like, he said, uh, this is for all of you out there who want to be up here because we, we were you, you know, paraphrasing, of course. And I remember everybody in the room was just like choked up and embarrassed at how choked up we were. And, and then we like had a great moment together. Like, actually, no, we're not embarrassed about that. That's where we want to be doing. That's what we want to be doing. It was a beautiful thing. Well, I would have to say it was probably last year when Rebecca Tashman, our director for Indecent, won uh, for Best Director. That was uh, it was so exciting to be there with our cast and to see that happen, and we were just so proud of her. So that was uh, that's a, that's at the top so far. <laughs>
What comes to my mind first and foremost is last year at the Tonys, getting to watch my friend Gavin Creel win a Tony. Um, it was really, really special, really, really special. And so that's the one where it was, and he licked the Tony Award on stage. It was really just, you know, he's a classy guy. <laughs>you know we have so many uh, nominations for ice band that's what i'm really excited about is is really so many people are getting recognized and they should be